The first day of work is like the first day of school. There'll be new cliques, new politics, new how to fix situations, but don't worry, you too can survive this concrete intern eating jungle by learning a few simple facts and remembering a few simple hacks. Fact one, be polite to everyone. In this jungle, looks can be deceiving. Good morning, sir. Oh. Hi, my name is Steph. I'm a little bit early for the day, and I didn't know how this oh, was working. This is where all the interns are supposed to sit. I was waiting outside, sitting at some guy's desk for 15 minutes. Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm late, sorry. Oh, no, I'm not late, I'm Andrew. Get it? You're an intern too? But, uh... <laughs> you're old. I, I took my time in school. I like the school food. So what do we do? How many interns does this company need? If you ask me, zero. But somehow we took on the both of you. You're the interns? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been asked to take the new interns around. I'll show you where to sit, where to stand, and when to talk. Which is when you're with me, never. Let's go. Before you get too excited about the free pantry goodness that you'll be bored of in about a week, remember that this is not your personal pantry. Fact two. In the office pantry, if you're not sure, ask. Those are a lot of coffee machines. This is Jason's coffee machine. He's very possessive. Don't use it. This is the other coffee machine. Don't use it. Is this broken? No, because I want to use it and I hate waiting. It's a stereotype for a reason. Interns end up making a lot of coffee. Make yourself stand out from the other interns by making cafe-style drinks with these two coffee hacks. Coffee hack one. No milk foamer? No problem! You know, I read an article that said geniuses take their coffee black. I actually let my coffee throw me, but the bosses just don't want to pay $100 for a milk foamer. It's just not the same. I have... You know, they sell cheap milk foam add-ons. Well, yeah, so wow, I Wow, they don't want to spend on anything at all? I have a solution! Here's what you need to make your drink fluffy without a milk foamer. You'll need a microwave-safe container, milk, and a microwave. Put enough milk in your container, Tighten it. Shake! Combine with your hot drink for an extra fluffy afternoon treat. Thanks, I guess. Mmm, not bad. You can make my coffee from now on. There's always a dark side, even to the happiest office. There are disgusting people with disgusting habits doing disgusting things. As a coffee-making intern, you'll soon learn the hard truth of the disgusting, crusty sugar spoon. But don't worry, I have a solution. There was once we caught rats. In the food. We... <laughs> In the food. Sucks. Totally. Number two, no more gross spoons in the sugar pot. Here's what you need to never again see a crusty spoon in your pantry sugar pot. All you need to do is swap out the sugar pot for a sugar bottle. All you need is a squeegee bottle and a funnel. You can still measure how much sugar you want in your own spoon. Tighten hygiene with the sugar bottle. This is gonna happen to you a lot. Crazy outfits in the bright lights. I'll have you know this is a local designer and I can't help it if I'm brighter than you. Guys, hurry up. We got a client coming in right now and we have to go for the meeting. Faster, let's go. Meeting? At the end of the day, it's just office life, not the end of the world. Although sometimes, I'm dying. Have a hack I missed? Comment below with your question and remember to like and subscribe.